How do everyone and welcome back to Royville in Four Color. My name is Stefan and I was finishing up reading a very short series. It was only three issues. I know I talked to you about the first issue. Don't know if I talked to you about the second issue, but I must say I really loved it. And I think that it definitely needs just a little video of its own. So without further ado, Here's Blood and Fire. So the first issue, I'm just going to show you the covers real quick and then we'll kind of get into the story. So the first issue here is, I really, now, I like samurai stuff and when I saw this cover, looking through what's going to be new, I had to get it. That is such an amazing stylized cover. Issue number two, a little bit more subdued, but very evocative. Like what's going on here? A samurai's sword, blood along the snow, I think it is. Yeah, very cool. And then the last one, one I just got done reading. Look at that cover. Half skull, half man. Okay, it's not Two-Face. But anyway, it's still a really cool stylized cover. And if you can see, it is number three of three. So... This was published by Red 5 Comics. Red 5, I'm assuming it's kind of a homage to Red 5 from Star Wars. Red 5 calling in or whatever, Luke Skywalker. Uh, however, I, I haven't read a lot from this publisher and I did read one series, I'm not gonna name it, the premise made me think it was going to be amazing and it kind of let me down a little. And so when I saw this, I'm really into Samurai. I love Kurosawa films. Yojimbo, Sanjuro. I love that genre. I like Western films. I like Samurai films. Love the Ma uh, Magnificent Seven is the homage we'll say or the american version of it uh but the seven samurai i love that movie yeah so when i saw this i was like man i really want to get this but red five comics well i am so glad i did this is a this is sanjuro yojimbo a kurosawa film in comic form. Very simple premise. A samurai, his liege lord gets killed, his family gets killed, and he has to seek revenge for his honor, for his family, for his lord. And he goes and he definitely gets his revenge. And the story of him Basically, going from point A to point B is amazing. It is beautiful. The art is really, really evocative of the premise of the story. And so I just read the third issue, and I will show you a few clips of the art. So here's the first one. Drink it in. Here's the second one. Drink it in. I love the second one. Basically, there's a samurai. He still, the Ronin says, you still have honor. I will let you go. I won't kill you. And he says, because of my honor, I have to stay. And at the top of this ish, at the top of this page, so be it. They run towards each other. And you see what happens to his opponent. This is an amazing, fast-paced, three-issue story. It's wrapped up. 
I don't know if many people even thought it was around or knew of it. You might be able to get the issues quickly in the back bins. But yes, I strongly recommend this title. Only three issues. Yes, Blood and Fire. It was written by, and I'm going to probably butcher these names. I really apologize to the writer and artist. Uh, Aaron Robleski was the writer, and Ezekiel Rubio Lancho was the artist, and your art, those words, a great blend, strong recommend uh, from Stefan here, and yeah, that's it. So remember what your mom always said, if you gotta be a dick, be a Grayson. Thanks, everybody. Keep reading.